Dragon Ballers, if you're looking to buy a Dragon Ball Super or One Piece sealed product, make sure to get 5% off using my link to Mystic TCG down in the description. You can also sell cards to them using their Facebook link, which is also down in the description. Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Joey. I run things over here at Crossworld TCG. I am primarily a Dragon Ball Super card game channel and occasional One Piece card game channel. But today, I'm going to be opening a box of My Hero Academia League of Villains that Jasko was awesome enough to send me. Shout out to them. I do have to say, now that Jasko sent me a box of this set and a box of the previous sets, they've officially sent me more product than Bandai ever has. And George, if you're watching this, I think you'll find that pretty funny. Bandai, if you're watching, probably not going to find it so funny, but it is just a matter of fact. But yeah, we're gonna open this box in today's video. Huge shout out to Jasko for sending me some product to open for you guys here on the channel. A couple things, uh, this set released on March 3rd. Now on March 3rd, I was competing in the Dragon Ball Super World Championship Last Chance Qualifier. So I did not get this box in time to do the video on release. I also didn't even know that I was being sent this box. So huge shout out for the surprise, Jasko. That's pretty cool. But we are gonna open this um, you know, in lieu of the release of the new set. Another thing guys, if you guys do just play multiple card games, if you play just My Hero or or My Hero plus Dragon Ball, whatever the case is, you guys can support the channel by signing up for Jasko's Organized Play website, which is gonna be down in the description. And when I ask you for a referral code, use code CROSS, C-R-O-S-S. -S. I will have the link to their site as well as my referral code down in the description. If you guys do wanna help support the channel, I really, really would appreciate it. Anyways, let's just get right on and opening this box. Now, I actually did fall off of My Hero for a while. I stopped watching and like, season three i want to say when they were doing some sort of exam with another school i can't remember exactly uh what the story arc was because that was honestly years ago that was probably like pre-covid where i stopped watching my hero but actually when i was in vegas with my teammates i caught up with some of the more recent episodes and actually got me a little bit um you know hyped back into the anime which is pretty cool like i saw dark deku hope i'm not spoiling too much for you guys but i'm sure if you play the game you're probably caught up with the anime or if you're not caught up with the anime you probably don't care about the anime and just play the card game which is what a lot of dragon ball people do so all right that was a painful way to actually get the plastic off the box let's see what we have here we have a couple box hoppers that's pretty cool i always love when card games do box hoppers just another way to give back to the players we have Fancy Feast. So I really am not super familiar with what all the cards do. So uh, I don't have Danny here from the last video to help me explain what the cards do. So I'm more so just gonna be looking at artwork rather than anything. And uh, I don't remember these characters, so I'm gonna put that one off to the side. We have the Quirk Packs. Let's see what kind of box covers we have here. I don't know if these are reprints from the set or if these are just like standalone Quirk cards. Uh, I was reading a bit about them, but we have League of Villains Bar. If I pull a good card, guys, by the way, let me know down in the comments. Um, that would just be cool to know. This has some interesting, like, square foiling. It's not even, like, shatter foiling like I've seen in Yu-Gi-Oh! or Dragon Ball. Some very interesting, like, square pattern in there, which I'm assuming is assisting the type of rarity. I don't think it's, like, part of the, the artwork of the bar or anything. I do know the League of Villains Bar. I do remember that from the show for sure. And now here we have Valiant Assault. This card's actually beautiful. Uh, I do have just like a binder of cards I collect and I do have a fair amount of My Hero cards in there. So that's definitely making it to that binder for sure. But anyways, now we'll go into the main booster packs. I'm probably just gonna skip mostly quickly to the actual foil cards. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have Double Palm Shatter, Mastermind's Apprentice, Blood Transfer, Blue Flame Smolder, Gas Cloud, Dark Interruption, Pyromania, Tamora's Protector, Contempt for Heroes, and we have Finger Guns. Oh, I remember this guy. I don't remember his name, but he's very, like, Deadpool-like. And I'm a big American Comics fan, so the fact that he's, like, Deadpool is actually hilarious. Maybe I'll tune up some My Hero after I finish this box opening. That'd be kind of funny. All right, next pack. Again, this theme is mostly on villains, so we will skip through to the end. I'll do a quick flash of the cards. Wow, that looks gnarly. Uh, we have the Deadpool guy again. We have Top Pro Heroes um this is pretty cool featuring all the main heroes gene all might eraser head and fire guy's name is escaping me man i'm sure this is so painful for you diehard my hero fans that are uh, just watching me whiff on all this my hero stuff like i said it's been a little while since i watched i did just recently catch back up on some of the stuff and i am kind of looking forward to getting back into the anime there's so much to watch though i gotta catch back up on one piece as well i'm only about halfway through one piece in the punk hazard arc if you guys are familiar with that Chainsaw Nomu. This is definitely something I have not seen in anime, so that's definitely pretty big spoilers, but definitely looks cool nonetheless. Reminds me of Chainsaw Man, which I recently watched. I still didn't finish season one of Chainsaw Man. Gotta go ahead and do that. And uh, I'm hoping that if I pull a secret rare, that it's like super blatantly obvious. I'm not sure if that's gonna be the case. We have two foils here. We have Warp Gate Portal 
and we have Blade Expertise. Um, going down the rarity, we have XR and Rare. So I guess that's just a alternate foil rare, I'm assuming. On to the next pack. And this is like the Stain wannabe, right? The guy who wants to be just like Stain. He kind of looks like a Ninja Turtle, which is also kind of cool. I'm sure there's so many superhero references throughout my hero. Like, I don't really know much about the writer or anything, but I mean, super obvious Deadpool, pretty obvious Ninja Turtle inspiration. Um, some pretty cool stuff there. Really big sword. Okay, this is probably also going to go in the collection because that's just a really funny card name, and this character is pretty cool in general. Going on to the next pack. Wish me luck for the secret rare. I don't even know what card secret rare are, to be honest. We have Showdown, which is our alternate rare, so that's going to go in the foil pile there. Into the next pack. Yeah, and I typically don't do box openings, guys, so if I'm just like doing super bad etiquette by like not flashing through all the cards... I do apologize for that. I actually very seldomly do box openings. We have Scouting the Forest. We have All Out Battle, which is an XR. So I'm assuming XR is similar to Dragon Ball Super SR, where it's like one of the higher rarity cards. Although in this game, they don't have any sort of like crazy foiling to determine that. Like I know, for example, Yu-Gi-Oh, which was my original card game that I played, they have like a different crazy foiling on secret rares. And for uh, Dragon Ball, a lot of, most of the secret rares are usually textured foils. We have Web of Blades. That's a pretty cool card there. I think I have a... I don't know if that's a line on the blade. That probably is a line on the blade. Dragon Ball Super does a lot of, like, line print errors, so I always, like, have an eye for that. But not here on this one for my hero, I don't think, at least. Alrighty. Next up, Whiplash. Muscle Mauler. Yeah, this guy was always weird. I think I, I think when I stopped watching, this guy, like, just got introduced, and I'm pretty sure Deku, like, absolutely destroyed this guy recently from what I heard. So I'll be I'll have to catch up on that one. This is a pretty cool card. This is actually be a really sick foil with uh, with all the smoke and everything floating around there. And then lost in thought, we have a rare, pretty cool shot of Deku with the thought bubbles right around him. Pretty funny. Going on to the next pack. I do got to say I like how new card games have all adopted that slit in the top right corner because you know opening Yu-Gi-Oh packs back in the day was an absolute pain. Oh man, we have the deadpool guy himself agile drop so this is this is 110 percent going in the collection minder that's absolutely awesome i love that guy i i remember being just being super funny from the stuff that i did watch of my hero pretty good pack open there we have any voice we have a rare so regular foil i gotta say it is a little bit tough to tell the rarities apart okay do this is too funny like this is the classic deadpool face on this character that I'm putting in that pile just purely because it might go in the collection binder. That's a uncommon. So I don't know if every card in this game comes foil or not. I'm, I don't think they do. I think most of the only rares and above come foil in this game. Uh, I would love to get that foil though, if possible. Oh, okay. Look at that. XR uncommon. Okay. So XR might just be the, uh, the foil version of things. Again, I'm so sorry for you guys that actually know my hero and are just watching me butcher like all the details about the game. So yeah, this 110% collection binder. If we can put the non-foil back in the regular pile. Oh, and one thing I remember about last set that I didn't even know when I was opening the box with Danny is that they were doing like this promotion in the boxes where like one, probably not even one in a case. There was like a, I think like a bronze Deku or a bronze card that you could just like skip right past going through all the commons and stuff, which uh, definitely would have been pretty unfortunate if I did that. I did go look back through that box and that box was not uh, one of those luckily. So I didn't just miss out or throw it out by mistake needle stab i remember this chick being crazy she is from the school so maybe you guys can help me fill in some blanks here she is from the school they were doing the exam with when uh i was i stopped watching my hero in season three i don't remember uh i think i was like there for the provisional hero exam or provisional hero license maybe or maybe junior hero license something along those lines decaying palm slam we have a um ur ultra rare that's probably an ultra rare uh, again it's kind of tough to determine the rarities on these things but we're cruising through. We've got Into the Fray. We have the old guy that trained All Might and trained Deku. Uh, we have a regular rare there. Man, I hope I do pull a secret. I don't know. I don't know if secret rares are guaranteed in a box or not. So uh, maybe they're like Dragon Ball where secret rares are like uh, two to three per case. That would be interesting. We've got, we'll flash through some regular cards. We'll try to do this properly. Love this guy. We've got Masterminds Apprentice, Nebulous Stare, Enamored, Binding Armbar, Up Close and Personal, Jet Kickback, Armored Muscle. We've got Tormenting Gaze, which is a regular rare, but this, this artwork uh, is, is pretty pristine. I've got to say this one's pretty cool for sure. 
All right, we're almost done with the right side of the box. I'm sure I've also messed up another form of like box opening etiquette where I've not stuck to one side of the box or I've not shuffled up the, the contents of the box. I feel like these are all different things that I should probably be doing, but you guys let me know down in the comments. Muscle Mauler, Ignite, Disturbing Visage, Measured Violence, Sense of Justice, Gas Cloud, Sluggish Recovery, Do I Know You. This is probably my favorite card in the set, to be honest, purely based on looks alone. And my light went out, but I think we have enough to keep this going and finish up strong. We have House of Cards, another rare. Now we'll reach into the left side of the box, because why not? If you have a quick flash through the regular cards, there is a bit of glare. Trying to correct that. We have... Reluctant Retreat, we have another rare card. I gotta say, I'm not gonna really have much hype until I hit one of these secret rares. I guess the URs are probably also pretty solid, hopefully. Let's take a look here. Gecko Stomp, Blade Tooth, Blade Expertise, Moonfish, Tamora's Protector, we have Nightmare Physique, another regular rare. This one also looks like it could have been a higher rarity card just based on how cool the artwork is. Now this one, I don't remember if it was on the right side or the left side. Maybe it got shuffled around when the box is moved around, but we'll take that one for last. Maybe that one's like good luck. Maybe it's heavy. That's why it kind of moved around. Surviving Beast's Forest, Convenient Timing, Fire Starter, Sense of Justice. Now I gotta say, uh, okay, firstly we have a Ultra right here, Double Overhead Hammer Fist. Now I gotta say like, again, I've watched like the couple most recent episodes of My Hero and I've seen some of the crazy stuff that's going on there. And none of this stuff, seems to be touching on that too too much so i wonder how the the sets of the game are paced with like the anime and whatnot if you guys know more about that i would also be very curious to see your comments down below explaining that we have flash fire fist i feel like his name starts with an e and i just it's literally just escaping my mind so cringe i'm sure for all you die die hard my hero fans out there to watch me butcher this saving bakugo blade rush getting a tour League Invitation, Blade Tooth, Blue Flame Smolder, Polite and Well Spoken, Stalking Her Prey. We have Blood Evaluation and Eyes on the Target. Two foils for the same character. That's pretty cool. We have a Rare and an XR Common. So, okay, I'm gathering that XR is just the foil version of most cards. Makes sense. All right, down to the last two packs here. We've got hopefully something good. Whiplash, Surviving Beast Forest, Gory Stab, Binding Armbar, Gas Cloud, Shrapnel Tooth, Fancy Feast, Eyes of the Tiger, Tracking Device, and we have Twin Flame Scourge, another regular rare card, but a very cool one nonetheless for sure. And uh, I know that this guy is pretty uh, important in the story and I kind of got spoiled about it. I won't you know, say it because it might be a big spoiler for you guys. Pretty big plot point there, but that guy is very, very cool to me now because I know that. Terrifying Injury, Convenient Timing, Piercing Growl, Bartender, Gecko Stomp, Masked Menace, uh, Tomoru Shigaraki, Contempt for Heroes, Crawling Ice Geyser, and Winged Nomu ending up on a rare. So I don't think we got lucky and pulled the Seeker Rare or one of, I believe, two Seeker Rares if I remember correctly. So let's just put this all away. We'll give a quick run through the foils that we pulled. You guys already know my favorite for sure. Uh, Winged Nomu. Twin Flame Scourge, Blood Evaluation, Eyes on the Target, Flash Fire Fist, Double Overhead Hammer Fist, which I believe was a, a UR. Maybe we'll separate the URs here. Rare, 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 rare uh, XR Common, rare. We have a rare, rare. I'm not going to say rare for a million times. Sorry, guys. Tormenting Glare, Into the Fray. We have uh, Decaying Palm Slam, which is a UR, so we'll separate that out. We have another UR, an Eagle Stab. We have a rare, and that's confusing too, because like Orange Borders, Orange Borders is a regular rare. Glacier Breaker, this card separated into its own, just like my favorite card pile. Any Voice, Agile Drop, yeah, that's also getting separated too, for sure. Lost in Thought, Web of Blades, All Out Battle, XR Rare, this one's Collection Binder as well. Scouting the Forest. If I pulled something super expensive, by the way, guys, and you guys are hyped, just drop down in the comments. I, I know next to nothing about the My Hero card game, unfortunately. Really Big Sword. We have another UR. We have Blade Expertise, XR Uncommon. Put that one up here. We have Warp Gate Portal. We have another UR, Chainsaw Nomu. We have another UR, Top Pro Heroes. And we have Finger Guns. Okay, so overall, I am very happy with what I'm able to collect out of this box. We got a couple Deadpool cards. We've got a really sick card with All Out Battle. I'll probably end up throwing top heroes in the collection binder as well, which will be a lot cooler when I actually remember all the heroes' names. But what do we get in a box here? We get one, two, three, four, five URs. 
Is that what we get here for a box? I don't know if that's standard ratios or not. I feel like it should probably be an even number, like six, but I could be totally wrong. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed just hanging out on this Saturday with me. Thank you so much again to Jasco for sending out these boxes. If you guys do want to sign up for their organized play site, do, do go down to the description. My uh, affiliate link will be down there. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video.